Jennifer Lopez is the rudest celebrity ever. JLo, why are you suddenly talking so much When she has drivers, the number one rule she has for them is they can't look at her. JLo was just straight up a mean girl. She was probably the rudest and the biggest diva. Told a salesperson to stop looking at her and to turn the other way. She will go out of her way to make sure you get fired. She is like this cold ice queen. Jennifer Lopez is known as Jenny from the Block, but there's nothing about her that represents the Block or the Bronx or anyone with a decent moral compass. JLo is the most rude and entitled artist in the entertainment industry. Everyone from former staff, fellow celebrities, servers, flight attendants, nannies, everyone has a terrible story about JLo, and she can't explain her way out of this one. So let's get into it. If you aren't subscribed to the Let's Get Into It podcast, then you're only getting half the tea. For longer videos, deep dives, and of course, more of me, subscribe to the Let's Get Into It podcast listed in the description below. Lately, everybody's been talking about Jennifer Lopez and how she isn't as great as she probably thinks she is. I made a video talking about her music career and how her songs aren't even hers. It isn't her lyrics and it isn't even her vocals on these tracks. So I think people are really starting to see JLo for who she is. I mean, she invested all this money into a documentary to prove her love with Ben Affleck because it isn't genuine. Nothing about her is genuine. And now that people feel safe to share their stories about JLo, there are a lot of people coming forward and a lot of moments from her past that are being brought up again. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about those. Like in December 2022, Jennifer Lopez fans shared their rudest encounters with the star, one saying that she had cussed her out. Now it became a viral trend on TikTok to share your encounter with Jennifer Lopez, which I think is such a red flag. I mean, if there's a viral trend of people sharing their story times about how they had met you and you were a terrible person, then that kind of speaks for itself. One person claimed that JLo had cussed them out when they were working at a store and JLo was trying to find some shoe sizes that would fit her twins. Another woman revealed that she was working in a house as a maid when JLo came to stay there. She said that the nail artist was called in to give the star a pedicure in bed. Ooh, she wants the JLo treatment. However, the nail artist had to do it upside down because JLo was lying on her stomach and refused to roll onto her back. Okay, JLo, give me a break. Other horrific stories about JLo's alleged bad behavior include her rolling up her window when a young fan tried to say hi at a stop sign and not wanting others to make eye contact with her. Ooh, that gives me very much Ellen DeGeneres vibes. Like, why can't we look at you? I mean, do you not have a soul for us to look into? Jennifer Lopez is the rudest celebrity ever. For years now, people have shared their negative interactions with the celebrity, but lately people are speaking up more than ever before, as literally every single influencer has a bad interaction with her from Trisha Paytas. She said she had to be on like a certain side, so she's like this, but I'm also like this, so we're just whatever. And then at the end of it, she's just like, don't touch me. And I was like, I didn't even touch her. Oh my God. Yes, I maybe put my hand on her. I don't think I did though. I think this was like after Britney Spears, where I knew not to touch. But she just went, don't touch me. And then just like laughed. And I was like, ah! Oh my God. Yeah, and I'm like, I really didn't think I did. I don't know. It was really weird and like was off putting the whole thing like that. But she was. To Chris Olsen. Yeah. Have you ever met a celebrity that you just absolutely hated? I did not love delivering coffee to. Oh, you know oh, sorry, and I, know. I had a good experience I with know, that I know, and a lot of people have had good experiences with her, but a lot of people have also had not no, great no, no. experiences she, with her. She picks and chooses. Not to mention there was a clip of her spitting gum into her assistant's hand that started going viral, which only made the allegations about her more believable. So if you didn't know... I think one of the reasons why people get tripped up on Jennifer Lopez is because she's worth $400 million. She's from, like, the Bronx and made it out of the Bronx, and now she's a big-time celebrity. So shouldn't she be super, you know, grateful and humble? I mean, we see people like, you know, I'm not trying to say I'm a Cardi B fan, but Cardi B, she's likable because you can tell she's very grateful for everything that she has. Jennifer Lopez doesn't have that. One person wrote on Twitter that there is a trend with people telling their stories about the rudest celebrities. Can 
you take a wild guess who's getting dragged the most? This person replied, my guess is JLo, which tracks because the more people she treats rudely, the flatter them notes get when she sings them. <laughs> At this rate, she'll be rapping by age 55. Another person wrote, I saw one with JLo in which she takes Ben's $100 tip he left for the waiting staff and replaces it with a $5 bill. Another person writes, there should be a lifetime series called Surviving JLo at this point. Another tweet, she just shot a movie at my high school last year and one of my old teachers claimed that she was the only actor that wasn't nice and wouldn't even talk to the students. This person wrote, I'll never forget when Jenny from the block came out and she went to the Bronx in a limo and would not get out of the car to meet the tween girl screaming out her name. Ben, the first time around, got out and met with fans. So it doesn't even seem like Jennifer Lopez had a great relationship with her fans from the beginning. I mean, even when she was starting out her career, which most celebrities aren't like that. I feel like you don't usually get far when you're rude to the people around you, but JLo has been able to finesse a career. This person writes, it makes me think of the clip where JLo walks to her childhood home and tells this hero that she grew up in the home and he's like, who's Jennifer Lopez? Here's a clip of that moment. I used to live here. Huh? I used to live here. Huh? My name is Jennifer. Jennifer? Yeah, I used to live up, and then my room was upstairs right there. Jennifer. Jennifer Lopez. Who's Jennifer Lopez? Me. I used to live here. That guy could care less who she was, but this person wrote, every time I go to LA and ask the studio workers who's the worst person to come into the lot, they all say her name. Years ago at the Beverly Hill Mall, I asked a sales clerk who was the worst and they said her name. She is the worst. This person wrote, I used to go to Caesars in Vegas twice a year for work. Always went to their spa. The lady said Britney was lovely and all please and thank you ma'am and JLo was hated with the heat of a thousand suns. Ooh, a little Britney Spears comparison. This person wrote, a few months ago there was a story where she brought in a bunch of dancers to audition to be her backups on tour. They spent hours doing unpaid auditions then she asked if any of them were Virgos and dismissed any who said yes she's the worst wow can you imagine like not being hired because of your astrology sign like girl there's not even like we could go on on and on about that maybe that makes sense maybe she's using the stars to plan her next move and that's why she is where she's at but really this is a problem for JLo because she has been accused of being rude to servers and staff many times Jennifer Lopez does not come from wealth she was raised in the Bronx by her father a computer technician and her mother a homemaker however her humble beginnings apparently did not instill a sense of humility in her for years many servers and staff have reported that JLo is tough to work for. She has numerous rules and there are several accounts of her rude behavior. Let's talk a little bit about her drivers because JLo is on the go. She has to have plenty of drivers to take care of her and they haven't had the best times with her. For example, in 2022, there was a woman who went onto TikTok to claim that JLo is rude to her drivers, which I feel like drivers are really important people. I mean, of course they are. They're there to get you to one place safely. Why would you want to be rude to someone who has pretty much your life in their hands? This TikToker claimed her father once worked for a company that JLo often hired to provide drivers and says that her dad would refuse to drive for JLo after hearing stories about her poor temperament. Here's a clip of that TikToker sharing a little bit about what her dad had told her. And a celebrity was rude to you. Jennifer Lopez. Same, and I'm going to try to tell them really quickly two stories about Jennifer Lopez being an awful human being. So number one, when she has drivers, the number one rule she has for them is they can't look at her, they can't talk to her, and her luggage is never allowed to touch the ground. If any of those things happen, she will go out of her way to make sure you get fired. Even if you have to look in the rear view mirror while you're driving, she will call that you trying to look at her and proceed to berate you. And I know this because my dad worked for that driving company and he refused to drive her whenever she came in town because of how awful she treated the drivers. Second story, she was with Ben, I believe at MGM or whichever casino, and Ben's a great tipper and he respects service workers, and so he tipped a lot of people a lot of money that night. Jennifer goes around to each of those people and takes back the tip and gives them maybe five, ten bucks, maybe. She is an awful person. 
One thing I'll never understand is how people could be so rich yet such a bad tipper and why Jennifer Lopez is so offended that her man is tipping people. Like I would feel happy like, oh yeah, my man is a big baller. Like he's tipping people like that's kind of hot. But no, she sees it as some threat and would... I mean, have the balls to go and take the money back from someone who actually needs it. Several TikTokers have accused Jennifer Lopez of not tipping her weight staff, but two stories in particular take the cake. In a deleted TikTok, a woman who claims she served J-Lo and her husband Ben Affleck said they are notorious for not tipping servers. Quote, Ben Affleck has one of the worst reputations in the casino industry. We hate him. He's cheap and he's rude to other players. The woman claimed that Jennifer is known for being stingy, saying, quote, J-Lo tells Ben not to tip like he's not tipping already so you don't really need to remind him because don't worry Ben's not going to be out here you know handing extra bucks out anyways so a uh, really weird dynamic between them two another woman Penny corroborated the notion of her being anti-tipping she claimed that a woman she previously employed at a tavern in Las Vegas had a story about Ben while working in the casino she claims that she spent one night serving Ben as he was at a poker table not serving anybody else Ben gave her an extremely generous tip of $10,000 however once JLo caught wind of the tip she allegedly snatched the money back i can't imagine not tipping someone or let alone giving a tip and then trying to take it back it's just really weird behavior but that's what we see from jennifer lopez is weird behavior and making people uncomfortable i mean even people in the workplace not even like service workers but people she's collaborating with where they are made to feel less than because of her presence because Jennifer Lopez is so godly. So I was going to a fashion institute in New York City and I was interning for a stylist. JLo, even though I never actually saw her, she was probably the rudest and the biggest diva out of everyone. So all of a sudden, Jennifer Lopez's assistant comes in and she tells everyone, uh, you guys, you need to stay in this room. Uh, do not come out. Jennifer Lopez does not want anyone looking at her or talking to her. I can understand if we were fans coming up to her like oh my god jennifer lopez like you look amazing and i have an autograph like no we were literally unpaid interns the least you could do is be nice enough to grace us with your presence so we literally had to sit in this showroom by ourselves couldn't go to the bathroom couldn't go out to eat for like an hour because jennifer lopez didn't want anyone looking at her Something's not adding up. You're a big time celebrity who wants to go on tour, but you don't want people looking at you. This person commented, JLo told me I couldn't wear hoop earrings because they were her thing. <laughs> But it's not just servers, it's also those who work in the sky, because Jennifer Lopez refused to respond to a flight attendant who spoke directly to her. A flight attendant told Star Magazine that JLo is a diva and doesn't speak directly to people outside her inner circle. She said, what can I get you to drink? But Jennifer refused to acknowledge her. She turned her head away and told her personal assistant, please tell him I'd like a Diet Coke. The United Airlines worker claimed she wouldn't even look at me. It was sad. She seemed so sweet in her movies. But clearly she's not this sweet person and she thinks so low of you that she can't even respond to you and say that she would want a Diet Coke. And it doesn't seem like she treats her own employees right because Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony have twins. They're now in their teens, but they've had full-time nannies since they were kids. And apparently JLo requires her nannies to work grueling hours because I'm sure these women are actually the people who are are in fact raising her children quote normally people who make large sums of money have loads of professional and social obligations to hire a nanny for each child especially for newborns but it is as if jennifer expects one nanny not only to take care of both twins but also to work 16 hour days seven days a week unsurprisingly her first nanny she hired left just after a week of working for her quote they hired a second nanny who was wonderful with the twins but she couldn't take working such long long hours without a break so she ended up quitting a week after as well so really she can't keep any of these staff around a woman on tiktok julia wang shared her story of meeting one of jlo's backup singers Julia claims that the woman was part of the Vegas concert that JLo was performing. Well, Julia learned that JLo doesn't even acknowledge her background singers, who are probably doing most of the work, but it's really weird to think that she wants to put on these shows and to have these events and to 
have a presence on stage without having a connection with the people she's performing with, which is a big part of like what we see on stage and why we love great performers. I mean, you see the relationship Beyonce has with her dancers. I mean, JLo has so little respect for anyone else that she doesn't want any type of connection with anyone, which I wonder what trauma she had gone through to make her so cold. So this girl, like I said earlier, I met her at a Tony Robbins event and she was JLo's backup singer, backup vocalist. Her and all of the other backup singers decided not to come back because they said JLo was just straight up a mean girl. So we all know that JLo is like not the strongest singer and obviously she knew that too and that was like a huge insecurity for her. So she was so mean to her backup singers and if you were pretty or if you were a Latina, like game over. Like she straight up hated you. JLo never once acknowledged them, never once even talked to them, honestly didn't even look at them and she would just like roll her eyes at them, scoff at them and yeah, just acted like a bully. I wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't like other Latina women. She seems like she's really anti competitive. Like, no, you know what? Actually, it's not even about being competitive. She's very insecure. She can't handle the presence of someone else. She can't handle people looking at her. This person shared that JLo's demeanor does a 180 when a man walks into the room. She only treats the women poorly because she views them as competition. That's what I was just saying. Ugh. You, you could see it. It's clear. It's immature. Really, JLo? Grow up. JLo would like transform into this completely different person whenever there was a man around, especially a man of importance. So she is like this cold ice queen. But when there's a man around, she completely morphs into this like kind, friendly, loving, flirty persona. And she said her and like the back of vocalists were just stunned because she just appears so genuine and authentic. But that's not really her. The thing I can't get over is why does she have so many issues with people looking at her? I mean, you see people like Kim Kardashian and she is almost like begging for people to stare at her. One woman named Emily Watford shared her experience working at a concert arena where JLo performed. Emily said that a doorman made the mistake of looking at JLo. Instead of confronting the doorman, Jennifer started yelling at another staff member while he was standing in the same room. The guy was pissed off that Jennifer was making a big deal about him just giving her a glance he said so much for jenny from the block she claimed he said his comment was the last straw for jlo who promptly had him fired which i think is really weird too like it's very entitled of someone to think they could fire someone in a, an arena or in a space or for a like you know on a company's behalf like jennifer doesn't own that company she doesn't own that arena that this guy's working at why does she think she can get someone fired one waitress shared a tragic story that she had with jennifer lopez on quora writing i'm gonna be nice simply put she's a rude person that acts like she's so above anyone i have had the unfortunate privilege of meeting her a waiter and waitress would be very lucky if she tipped enough money to buy her damn cds i will never buy or contribute to her making more money to keep her cash register adding up truly unworthy the general public doesn't know just how real she is if they only knew well actually some of her fans may not even care smh i worked on the movie the boy next door with her and she played a teacher and i was a student and um there was one day where we were filming outside at the school and we were all on break and she was sitting like across from me um kind of far and she was sitting in like you know the actor's chairs and she turns around and how he said that she went like hey and turned around is exactly like what happened to me almost and it just reminded me of the story um so she's sitting in the director's chair and she's facing away from me she like turns around and she's leaning over the back of the chair and she's like jerry jerry is that you and my friend was next to me and she's like oh no this is gary and she was like oh and turned around <laughs> Now, it's not just normal people, you know, citizens, that Jennifer Lopez is pissing off. Not just our servers, our flight attendants, our uh, wait staff, you know, um, who else? I'm, I'm sure anyone, her, our stylist, her own dancers. It's not just these people. She's also caused issues with other celebrities, and she's had her fair share of celebrity feuds. Once, Jennifer said that Gwyneth Paltrow was hot by association. She said, tell me what she's been in. I swear to God, I don't remember anything she was in, Jennifer said about Gwyneth. Some people get hot by association. I heard more about her and Brad Pitt than I ever heard about her work. And obviously, that's a very shady comment to make towards another, you know, 
woman in the industry and not really validating anything she's done. Jennifer said that she wasn't a fan of Winona Ryder. In a sit down, she said that she was never a big fan of Winona Ryder, despite her being nominated for an Academy Awards two years in a row in the 90s. Jennifer said, in Hollywood, she's revered. She gets nominated for Oscars, but I've never heard anyone in the public or among my friends say, oh, I love her. Again, trying to just miss Winona Ryder as a fellow female entertainer and just kind of, I guess, make herself seem more relevant. Is that the goal that JLo is trying to achieve here? Because really, why would she want to make a fellow, you know, creator, singer, entertainer feel less than? Once upon a time, Jennifer accused Salma Hayek of lying about a role. Jennifer wasn't a fan of being compared to Salma Hayek, saying that they are in two different realms as performers. Quote, She's a sexy bombshell, and those are the kind of roles that she does, Jennifer said. I do all kinds of different things. It makes me laugh when she says she got offered Selena, which is an outright lie. If that's what she does to get herself publicity, then that's her thing. She also dragged Madonna's acting skills. Reports write, do I think she's a great performer, Jennifer said. Yeah. Do I think she's a great actress? No. She said, acting is what I do. So I'm harder on people when they say, oh, I can do that. I can act. And I'm like, hey, don't spit on my craft. Which is interesting because Jennifer has gone between being an actress and being a singer. And she's really been in between these two that I really think like acting probably would have been best for her because singing hasn't turned out great. Plus, has she done anything original? When Jennifer was offered the opportunity to perform at the Super Bowl, she did not want to share the stage with Shakira. Reports claim that JLo did not hold back when it came to her opinion on sharing the stage. She said if it was going to be a double headliner, they should have given us 20 minutes. That's what they should have effing done, Jennifer was quoted saying. Jennifer said it was the worst idea in the world world to share her performance with Shakira. And it's interesting because Shakira is so talented. She's such a valid performer, songwriter, singer. She's so much more of a legit artist than JLo is in the music space that I feel like it's the best choice to have someone like her on stage with JLo. JLo, why are you suddenly talking so much shit? Right on the heels of referring to her Super Bowl performance with Shakira as the dumbest decision of all time, she is now insulting Shakira and referring to belly dancing as uncultural. I'm trying to give you something with substance, referring to that Super Bowl performance. Not just out there shaking our fucking asses and fucking belly dancing. Girly, we all tuned in for Shakira and the belly dancing. I love you, JLo, but please stop. This isn't a good look. So clearly, Jennifer talking so badly about everyone else in the industry isn't rubbing her fan base the right way. Sometimes we see like a Nicki Minaj talk crap about someone else and everyone gets all mad and they make sides, but really nobody's joining Jennifer's side. And it doesn't seem like she's taking the backlash well because Jennifer exploded with the paparazzi and made a rude gesture. Jennifer made headlines due to a controversial incident with a paparazzi and a photo captured by the paparazzis, JLo showed her discontent and expressed her frustration in a particular way by making a rude gesture with her finger by flipping off the paparazzis, which I'm not going to do because, oh no, I'm such a good boy. I just feel like it's, I don't do that. You know, I just don't do those things. The incident occurred while Jennifer was with her partner, Ben Affleck, on one of her regular visits to the McDonald's fast food restaurant chain. Well, she is cheap, so I could see her liking McDonald's. I mean, shoot, some McDonald's sounds so good right now. I'm hungry. Although cameras caught the moment when Jennifer made her gesture towards the paparazzi, it's unclear what triggered this reaction. The incident has generated diverse opinions and reactions on social networks and in the media. Some support JLo for defending her privacy, while others criticize her rude gesture. Either way, Jennifer can go and flip off all the paparazzi she wants. I mean, she's like in her 50s. Do you think that's really cute? I don't really think it's cute. And now there's like rumor mill going on where everyone's talking about blind items of Jennifer being so terrible, so rude. And it really just doesn't seem like she could win. So, I mean, she needs to put her mirror, you know, go in front of the mirror and flick herself off because really at this point, she's her own worst enemy. Here's a blind item about JLo being very JLo. The A-list everything in her mind celebrity was shopping in NYC and told a salesperson to stop looking at her and to turn the other way. And this is allegedly J-Lo. 
Now, because people are questioning Jennifer Lopez's every move, people are starting to question some of her products and some of the PR that she's been putting out. In December 2020, Jennifer Lopez made headlines when she insisted that the secret to her flawless complexion is olive oil. The star spoke out ahead of the launch of her JLo Beauty skincare with products such as her That JLo Glow Serum. Speaking to Page Six at the time, Jennifer said that olive oil is the secret that she's been using for years because it really does work. And maybe olive oil does work. I don't really know. I mean, leave in the comments below. Like, does it work? I don't know. Or do you just put it on your skin all the time? Like, wouldn't that clog your pores? I'm not entirely sure. But olive oil is a very, you know, basic and clean and true product that putting out a skincare line and just you know telling everyone your secret is olive oil doesn't really seem like the two are adding up unless you're putting out your special olive oil line JLo is dropping a new skincare line and her skin looks amazing so she's doing something right but she credits her youthful appearance to olive oil and sunscreen leaving dermatologists worldwide skeptical and confused when consumed olive oil has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties that may have a benefit on the heart but when applied to the skin it may disrupt the skin barrier lead to water loss loss and clogged pores leading to acne. Also, olive oil is actually the food that yeast on your skin needs to grow, meaning that it can make dandruff, fungal acne, and tinea versa color worse. I mean, it makes me question whether Jennifer Lopez actually has used olive oil on her skin because I feel like she's just like saying this and running with it, but not actually giving us the truth because we all know that, you know, in LA, everyone's got their dermatologist. But a TikTok user decided to expose a trick when they uploaded one of Jennifer's recent social media posts and highlighted a moment where a filter glitched. So she had a filter on to make herself look better while promoting her product, but there was a moment where the filter went away and you could see what she really looked like. Now, I don't think that Jennifer Lopez has bad skin by any means, but y'all also must admit that it would be a lot better of an ad if her skin wasn't filtered and she showed what she was really working with but of course nobody wants to show the real side of themselves so Jennifer noticed that the the filter was glitching she backed up and she made sure her skin was blurred for that TikTok you go to the gym without telling me you go to the gym I'll go first you go to the gym without telling me you go to the gym i'll go first Jennifer has maintained that she has never had Botox to this day. Quote, I'm not that person. I don't have anything against people that do it. It's just not my thing. I'm more about a natural approach, which I respect, but I'm calling BS just because Botox is so easy. It's so like, it's non-invasive. You can't really tell. I mean, she looks so good, then maybe not Botox, but like a facelift. Clearly, there's something really inauthentic about Jennifer Lopez. The products that she has, the show she puts on, uh, the relationship she has. I mean, there's something so unreal about it that it's kind of funny to see how hard she's been trying to tell us this entire time that she's real when she's really far from it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think we had hit a million subscribers at this point, so thank you guys so much. I am at Coachella. If you are at Coachella, say hi to me. I think we'll wear a cowboy hat at some point. If you wanna follow the chaos, definitely check me out on Instagram at Sloan Hooks, and I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye guys.